Hi there, my name is Peggy Wu. I'm the Activities Coordinator at ILSE Sydney. Nice to meet you. I think the volunteer activities recently have been proving to be very, very popular because uh, a lot of students, they want to be able to use their English in a way um, where they can help people, they can give back to the community, and um, also they get to meet uh, new people outside of the school. And all the students have said to me after they've finished doing volunteer activities that they feel really, really good uh, about themselves, helping other people. So I'd say probably volunteer activities are the most popular. And also, of course, the really um, fun, um, you know, different um, activities that maybe they they can't do in their own country, but, but they can do here, perhaps like a, you know surfing or going um, to um, Blue Mountains or the beach, those types of uh, activities. As for planning the activities every month, I obviously I have to uh, balance the schedule, the the students' class schedules and also dates of the various activities. Obviously we have the normal, act the regular activities. We have uh, the iconic uh, Rocks and Opera House tours, um, the different um, weekend tours like Surf Camp, uh, Blue Mountains. And then obviously it depends on what is happening in Sydney uh, for that session. And also uh, time, uh, what time the activity starts, what time it finishes, and also of course uh, costs as well. The most important thing is that students are able to to use uh, their English to communicate with uh, other people when they do their activities. So going back to the volunteer um, activities, in uh, all the volunteer activities, the students have to interact with people outside the school. So they they are forced to to use their English in a more uh, natural environment um, when they go on. Uh, uh, activities in the city with a tour leader uh, who is a, a teacher at the school. They have to speak to the teacher and also, you know, they get to know their classmates outside the classroom. And obviously if they're from different countries, they have to uh, communicate in English. And it's good to, to use the English outside of the classroom in a fun uh, environment. So I think that gives students confidence in, in how they use the English.